this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to be using the uh, DL size gel press. This is from the combo kit and we're going to be using our elements olive and Sahara. We're also going to be using some of our mica minerals. This is the crystal gold. First of all, taking the brayer, I'm going to ink up in the Sahara. And you're just going to blend a little bit of colour on the top. Now if your gel press is like mine, don't worry. It's the ink is going on, although we can't see it that well. And now I'm going to take one of our stencils and I'm going to ink over the top using the olive. So picking up a little bit of colour. And then using the wet side of the stencil, pop that down, clean the brayer off, and then we're just going to roll that. And it just gives us a really nice impression. You can just see that now. So next, I've got my mica minerals and I'm going to use my fan brush and let's pick up the crystal gold. Now I only want a small amount and all I'm going to do is just tap that lovely luster. Now I don't want it going over the whole thing, just some of it. we only need a small amount. So I've got our multifarious card here. I'm going to pop that down, turn the gel press over and pop it like so. Give that a press down. I can already see all that lovely mica coming through. And let's see what we've got. Wow. Those mica minerals are, let me just see if I can get, there we go, you can see it now. I think they're really fabulous. They work so well on the gel press. Let's dry that off. decide which way. I think we'll go that way. Now we've got our lovely Jolanda here and we're going to ink him up in the Nocturne. This is the VersaFine Claire which is your oil based ink and as a lot of you already know the VersaFine Claire it's been especially formulated for detailed stamps. So we want to make sure that it's completely covered. And now let's pop him down just to the side. Now as I say, he's a big stamp so let's just give him a little bit of time. Press down and let it rest a while. And there we go. So I'm going to go around the edge now. These are our watered down brushes. So I think I'm going to use the Prussian blue. We don't want it to be too dark. We can build up the colour gradually. 
let's start light and you can see how it will start popping out as soon as we go around the outline so I've got a worded stamp here I'm just going to pop a few little words um, down the edge there. and I'm going to ink up in the warm breeze So I'm going to use one of our white pens now, the white Uniball, which is more like um, an acrylic paint actually, it's, it's really opaque so it covers most things and I'm just going to bring a little of that and it will just make it stand out that much more against the background. So just take your time and you can see how much more that stands out now. And then we've got a uh, gold uniball metallic as well and I'm going to go a little over the top of our Jolanda. And this lovely metallic gold will just complement our lovely micas down at the bottom here. You probably can't see it until I put it under the light. But I think those colours work really well together, the, the greens, yellows and golds. Okay, so let's just finish off now with a little bit of glitter. So I've got my glue pen, so I'm just going to dot in and around all that fabulous detail. And then taking one of our glitters, I think we're going to go with the Christmas tinsel. And we're going to sprinkle a little of that over the top. Tap that off. And there we go. And that lovely fine red glitter has caught, it's attached itself to the Versafine. Well, thanks so much for joining me, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration with Jolanda. And I hope it inspires you to have a go yourself, especially at creating those backgrounds with the mica minerals. 
You take care and have a good day and we'll see you real soon. Bye for now.